this video will show you how to program reference switching functionality on the ATV212 drive. Now when we're talking about reference switching we're talking about the switching of your reference channels meaning your speed channels not your command. Your command is going to still, still stay the same as whatever that CNOD parameter is programmed as which is your command mode selection but this is strictly a reference switching in means of a speed reference. Now there's a couple of parameters you want to keep an eye on. The first one is the FNOD parameter and the other ones are under your F as in Frank dash 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 sub menu. But before we get into the programming, the way the reference switch works is that you have to allow one of your logic inputs that is free to be used such as um, you have terminals F, R, and RES terminals and normally F is a run forward command but assuming you're not using the R or the RES for any other purpose you can program either or to act as your reference switching and what the drive basically does is it looks at the status of that logic once it's programmed whether it's a 0 or a 1 and if it's getting a signal, if it's getting a 24 DC source which is a 1 state then it looks at your second source as a means of switching reference frequency and at that reference switching frequency parameter logic if it's not turned on then it reverses back to the first source which is the FNOD so just go ahead and pick whatever is free for you either R or RES in most cases and that does matter because the parameter will differ between R and RES for example to change the R terminals functionality you have to go into the F1 of 12 and the RES is F1 13 so we'll go ahead and assume that let's say you want to use the R terminal for now as a means of reference switching um, so to go into the menus to program this function the first thing you want to go ahead and do is program your first channel which is the FNOD parameter to so to get there you press mode from your main display you arrow down into FNOD so you enter on that so FNOD is your frequency so reference frequency for the first channel now depending on what you want this to be there's five options you have a one is VIA, two is VIB source three is the HMI keypad up and down four is serial comms and five is plus and minus speed so let's assume you want to go ahead and allow your up and down to be your first channel so that you want that to be a number three now for the second channel you have to press the mode from here once you're of course once you enter and you program everything you go back to your main display and you want to go up to the F and Frank dash 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 in this particular list enter on F dash 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 and as we mentioned before we were gonna go ahead and program the F112 parameter which is your R terminal as a reference switching function you can also choose F113 for the RES terminal up to you no problem and you want to go ahead and set the F112 function to a 38 value 38 so to do this go to F112 assuming you want to use R enter and then hit the up arrow key until you make that a 38 which is a frequency source function enter now, so so far you've programmed your first source, which is the keypad for now, because FNOD is now programmed as a three. So your first source right now is up and down. And let's go ahead and assume you want to go ahead and use the the VIA analog input value as your second speed source. So to program that in, you have to go to F two zero seven. So two zero seven is your second speed source. enter 
So you have some values that you can program them to here. So 1 through 5, just like the FNOD value. So 1 is VIA, 2 is VIB, 3 is the keypad, if you want to use that as a second source. 4 is communications, and 5 is plus and minus speed. So let's just say we're going to make it 1 for VIA. So you're basically done programming this particular function. So to recap, what's going to happen is we have programmed your R as a reference switching, frequent, reference switching functionality. With R getting no signal, your FNOD takes over as a speed value. And when R is triggered, then the F207 value is going to take over which is right now programmed as a 1 for VIA. So this is how you go back and forth between two different speed sources on the AT212 drive and with using the R or the RES or whatever logic you would like as a means of reference switching.